and he is my mentor for, for over 46 years. Amen? He's a man with many spiritual qualities nobody can describe and talk about. But permit me, let me mention very few. Number one, is a holy man of God. Number two, he combines both character and charisma together. Number three, is a chosen vessel with uncommon anointing and grace to preach the everlasting gospel. Number four, is preaching and teaching and ministration like Paul the Apostle said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 he said and my speech and my preaching is not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power tonight you will taste power you will experience the power of God because the man of God is here fully ready, fully prepared, anointed, empowered, and totally, fully committed. Tonight, you will go home rejoicing. You will go home rejoicing. Join me as I welcome my father in the Lord, your own father in the Lord, the general superintendent of the Deep and Life Bible Church worldwide, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, the defender of the faith. Praise the Lord. You know, when the introduction comes like that, you think the man is as tall as the ceiling. It is for you. I said it is for you. That same anointing will pass on to you. That same authority passed on to you. And I pray that everything you have heard about me, God will reproduce in your life. It can happen. It will happen. It must happen. You cannot come to the world like this and come to the crusade like this and then just go back a so-so Christian, a so-so person and managing life, tolerating life. Uh -uh. The world will know that you came to this world. And when you leave, you will leave traces of power, of progress, of prosperity. Leave it behind for the rest of the people in Jesus' name. I wish I could come to you personally, but you know this is a crowd, and I have to stay here to preach, but I wish I could come to you personally and take your hand and say, let's go. You are going on to victory in Jesus' name. Let's start our prayer. Father, we thank you tonight and we bless your name for what you've done, for what you are going to do today, what you will continue to do. Lord, our hearts are open. Mind, soul, spirit, heart, we open everything to you. Take the hand of everyone and lead us to a lifetime of dominion. I pray, Lord, you wipe all tears away. Take all sorrow away. And I pray that you will do something definite, unforgettable in every life in Jesus' name. We know you have answered. We will see that answer in every life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can 